Let's talk about the car. The perception is driving a newer car is safer, more reliable, and it'll save me in the long run. The reality, paid for cars free up money to tackle debt and build wealth. Here's a story for you. A client bought a 2000 Dodge Stratus. Car had dents, hail damage, it was even missing a hubcap. It had 107,000 miles on it. The upside, the engine ran well and was only $1,000. He's had the car for two years now and he's put 50,000 miles on it. This numbers nerd, he was happy to report that he only spent two cents per mile to own the car. Yes, he's done the usual maintenance and a new set of tires, but it's been more reliable than his wife's brand new car, which was in the shop three times the first two months they owned it. As I told the story, you had a picture in your mind of this car. You know, the reality is, it looks like this. He's still driving it. Here's another example for you soccer moms that need a kid hauler that is safe and reliable. A 2002 Chrysler Town & Country. We took three minutes and found this online. It's $4,900, 102,000 miles on it, auto sliding doors, and four out of five star crash in reliability rating. Now, you don't need a car, you want a car. Let's talk about consolidation. The perception is that compiling my debts into one smaller payment is easier to manage. You know, the reality, you're just moving it and your behavior hasn't changed. Some people can put their home at risk by consolidating their debt into a home equity loan or second mortgage. Really? Sacrificing your home for a credit card payment? Let's talk about borrowing from friends and family. The perception, oh, they'll understand. They'll be flexible on payments and they'll co-sign for you. Reality, now they are at risk too. Don't do that to your friends and family. Regardless of what you say, it will have a negative impact on your relationships. We're seeing more and more clients borrow from their 401k or retirement. The perception, this is smart because I'm paying myself interest. You know, in reality, you are putting your retirement at risk, and if you leave your company, you have only 60 days to pay your loan back, or you could pay taxes and fees up to 50%. Let's look at this scenario. You've lost your job, and you have a retirement loan. You know, losing a job is stressful enough. Now you have to worry about finding a job and paying back a retirement loan. If you can't pay it back, you end up with that big tax bill and you still may be out of work. So don't borrow from retirement. Here's a client's story. He had significant credit card debt and he said, I want to use the 401k loan to pay it off because it would save me interest and I'm going to be paying myself back. He justified it again. He said, Dave, I get that for most people that are at risk of losing their job, this is an issue, but I'm a top performer and the company is rock solid. I'm going to borrow from my 401k loan. So he did. He borrowed just over $50,000. He called me 30 days later. He was right. The company was doing so well, it was bought out. His 401k loan was called due and he couldn't pay it. He lost $27,000 in retirement through fees and taxes.